Hi everyone, this is Justin Gray from Synthesis Sound and Immersive Mastering, and I'm excited to be here with you today to share about the Lipinski loudspeakers that I use here in the studio every day. My Dolby Atmos speaker array is an 11.1.6 speaker array, so that's a 19 speaker system. Now, the way that that works is that that means that there are 11 speakers on the main layer, two subwoofers, which are ultimately summed into one LFE channel, and six height channels. Now, on my main layer, all of the speakers are Lipinski L707s. These are a passive speaker uh, that's a two-way design with a closed cabinet. They have custom tweeters, and they're extremely full-range transparent monitors that I absolutely adore. The subwoofers are L150s, extremely large, powerful, robust subwoofers, um, all you know filled with sand and on proper stands. Um, and so there are two of those. In my stereo work, those are being used as extension speakers along with my left and right channels. And then in my Dolby Atmos work, they're being summed into that one uh, LFE channel. And then the height channels are Lipinski L50s, which are a newer model of theirs. Uh, and I'm very fortunate to be one of the first to have access to them. These are a near field monitor. They're much smaller, but they use the same custom tweeter. They're also full class A and shockingly incredible for their size. And so what I adore and I'm very grateful to have access to with this system is a congruency in all layers, in all speakers, a full range system on the, on the main layer and then height channels that are able to produce incredible tonal accuracy um, and you know quite low in the spectrum as well uh, with match tweeters everywhere. And so really what I desire beyond, of course, a wonderful listening experience is a work environment when I make decisions, it translates. And that is what I adore about these speakers. I remember when I first got my left and right pair, um, which are you know the two speakers you see behind me. Now those two speakers are actually technically the Lipinski L700s because they have custom Lipinski amplifiers uh, they're bi-amped uh, with a custom crossover, and uh, that particular pair is, you know, got incredible power. And when I brought those into the studio for the first time, which is now well over a decade ago, I feel like everything just clicked for me. The ability to hear what I needed to hear to, to make the decisions I want, and the ability for me to work on something that then just translated with ease in every environment I was sharing it with. You know, ultimately, that's what we want in a speaker when we're working. We want to be able to hear the clarity and the detail and make decisions that inspire us um, that also translate into the world. Now, speakers are a very personal thing. Um, and I think on forums and online, there's oftentimes a question like, what's your favorite piece of gear? It's, you know, we might answer a piece of hardware or an instrument. And I do have to say that it's definitely my speakers because they are the thing that are allowing me to hear everything else. And speakers are personal because it depends on the engineer's aesthetic preferences, um, what they like to hear, what the room is like, where they're going to be sitting in that room, what distance they're going to be from the listener. I use a Trinov here uh, in the studio to do my tuning. And I don't have to do any EQ correction on uh, the Lipinski monitors. I just use the Trinov for timing uh, alignment because with this many speakers, it's really, really important. Um, and so I did have to, however, for the speakers that I previously had, I had to you know, do my best to use the Trinov to match them to the Lipinskis. Um, and now that the L50s are in there, what I love about it is the speakers sort of disappear. And I just hear the sound. I just have the ability to be inside of this space and this, in this environment where I create. Um, and once again, what truly matters is that what I create is then able to translate into the world. That's, that's the responsibility of a, of a high-quality loudspeaker is not just to make us feel good while we're working with it, but also for that work to then translate.
to translate out to consumer systems, to other engineers, to their studios, to headphones, and the whole like. The listening volume that I like to work at is not exceptionally loud. Um, I put in pretty long days in the studio, whether it's stereo mastering, Dolby Atmos mixing work, Dolby Atmos mastering work, and sometimes stereo mixing work as well. And so a comfortable, healthy listening volume is mandatory for me. And these speakers have an unbelievable ability to continue to reproduce a full range and flat frequency response, even at medium to low levels. It's something that has always been important to me. And with these speakers, no matter whether I'm pushing them, which, you know, of course I do at times to, to check things at, at various amplitudes, but when at whatever level I'm working at, it's my comfort zone, I find these speakers tell me everything I need at those, those varying uh, levels of volume. I also love detail. I, I'm obsessed with detail in all of my work. And the transparency, especially in what these tweeters, the custom Lipinski tweeters, provide, is it's just inspiring, really. It, it inspires me to dig deeper and to shape things and to really hone every sound uh, to the best of my abilities. From a power standpoint, um, as I mentioned, my left and right speakers are actually the L700. So they have custom Lipinski amps and they're bi-amped. Uh, the other monitors uh, are all passive and they're powered by the Br Bryston 9B SST squareds. It's a five channel, so I have two of them that are powering um, all of the main level speakers. My two subwoofers are powered by a Bryston 4B SST squared, provides ample power to, to allow those things to, to work at multi, you know, a wide range of volumes. And then the L50s are active. And uh, the amplifiers in there just are transparent and, yeah, just unbelievable, truly. I think that's a speaker that people will do well to check out um, because, you know, Andrew Lipinski has achieved wonders in this design. And, you know, what I... I think where my aesthetics and my preferences align with sort of the ethos of what the Lipinski monitors are is I just want to work with something that I can work on all day and be inspired by and not get fatigued by. I can work on at healthy volumes and, you know, protect my ears and over long listening periods and be able to meet deadlines and uh, and always keep the quality up. I want to work with a speaker that tells me everything I want to hear. I, I don't want things to be hiding. I want to hear every detail. I want to hear every edge of every instrument that I'm working on. I work on music in a, in a wide variety of styles, especially as a mastering engineer and as a, as a Dolby Atmos mixing and mastering engineer. Um, but I really do have an affinity towards acoustic instruments. Also, you know, in my background is as a bassist, both electric and acoustic bassist, and I've had, you know, long professional career as a recording engineer, and I love recording, um, you know, rich, transient, rich instruments and acoustic instruments, and these monitors just present things the way that they sound. And so I'm truly grateful to everyone at Lipinski. Uh, Noel Coque is, uh, you know, a friend and someone who has, you know, really supported me in, in helping to, to make this uh, a possibility. And um, I'm, yeah, just inspired to get a chance to tell you a little bit about the speakers that I get to work on every day. So thanks, everybody, and have a good one.